I can't believe it, you all. So I just hit a thousand subscribers and I am so excited and so incredibly thankful for all of you guys. And what do you know? I've actually been celebrating by buying a bunch of stuff. Some stuff for you guys and some stuff for myself. So let's talk about this giveaway and all of the patterns I've been buying lately. I'm Mari with Mari Sews. If you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all kinds of things sewing related, um, garment sewing related, and mostly for my curvy body, but every now and then you'll see things that I'm making for friends, family, children, and all of that good stuff. I also share all of my pattern and fabric hauls with you, as well as all of my crazy thoughts. Consider yourself warned. <laughs> and if you've been with me for a while, Thank you so much for your support. I recently hit a thousand subscribers, right? And I'm super excited and really it's because of your guys' support. So I really did wanna just kind of show you my thanks and appreciation by doing a giveaway. And so what I have to offer you are patterns by All Sets Treasures. I'm going to send you a packet of patterns from All Sets Treasures. These are gonna be big four patterns. And then I also have this wonderful clapper that I picked up a little bit ago. And if you don't know what a clapper is, um, what you use this for it is actually to hold down your seam allowances so that they lay flat. For example, you know how sometimes you press out some of your seams on your garments and the freaking seam won't stay flat. It keeps popping up. Well, in that instance, you'll want to put this right on top of that seam. And after the seam cools, you pull this right on off and that seam should be lying really flat. You don't have to worry about the, the humidity or anything from the actual steam with this. So this is really handy to have. And it says cut so wear. And also, I'll be sending you a code for a um, Mika's digital pattern, um, the Darla dress. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to link to it up here for you, but it's a really good one. So those are the things that I'm going to be giving away. And you all, I'm really trying to keep this simple. So leave me a comment below with what you like to sew and what pattern size range you prefer to sew in. I am opening this up to everyone, no matter where you live. So if you're in Australia, the UK, the US, wherever you are, I'm happy to ship all of this stuff out to you. You have until next Sunday to leave your comments in the, well, in the comments below, and I will randomly select someone and announce them next Sunday. So make sure that you come back here next Sunday to find out if you're the lucky winner. And I just really want to say thank you so much for helping me get to this point. I really do appreciate all of the love and support that you guys show me. Okay, so now that we've gotten the big exciting stuff out of the way, let's talk about the secondary exciting stuff, which is still really exciting. And that's my patterns. So I've been gathering patterns here. Some of these were actually given to me. Some of them, the majority of them I purchased. <laughs> to tell you the truth um but let's just get into it right because some of these are really good okay so this one right here this is simplicity 9261 and i just picked this up today i you know if i'm not mistaken mimi likes to do like these little sneaky peeks on her instagram account where she'll show you like a really bomb dress that she's wearing. And I swear I saw this on her, this one. And so when I saw that this was going to be a new pattern release for Simplicity, I knew I had to have it. This pattern in particular runs from a size um, six to 24. Well, the pattern range is not this pattern. This one's 16 to 24, which is my size range. This covers a bust range of 30 and a half to 46 and a hip range of 32 to 48. This pattern itself doesn't seem like it has a lot of ease in particular. Now, I know that when she sews up her dresses, she likes them to be a little on the tighter size, so she sizes down considerably. 
Um, when I've sewn Mimi G's Simplicity pattern looks in the past, I've always noticed that I tend to have a little more ease than what's shown here, and I'm okay with that because I know that I can always remove the additional ease and look like well, I won't look I won't look like that, but I, I could. Okay, some details about this dress. This dress is designed for stretch knits only. Um, they suggest cotton interlock, ITY knits, jerseys. Um, there is one of those pick a knit, pick a knit rules right here where you stretch it to make sure that your fabric has the required stretch to make this dress. And um, some of the things that I actually like about this dress is this cute sleeve detail. Now, this sleeve looks like it's actually open. It looks like it's just like a strip that's open there. Um, of course, I love this V neckline, the low V neckline. That's something that I really like sewing for myself. And this thing has pockets. Really cute. You can see that the back view here does have a slit in the back for, um, I guess, walking purposes. You might want to walk somewhere. <laughs> But, I mean, this thing I am excited about. I also picked up this pattern here. Now, this is Simplicity 9233, and it's a top version with both the long sleeve version and then the shorter version. And then there's this necktie right here. This version here, let me get it in closer. You can see that there's actually like buttons along this right here, which I think is a really nice detail. And I'm not sure if this is just the line drawings, but one of the other things that I really like about this top is that it appears to have a bit of a lantern sleeve. So you see there's raglan sleeves here, but then there's this line and then the sleeves come in a bit here, the short sleeve anyways. So it looks like it may be a lantern sleeve, which I think is really cute. I am really looking forward to sewing this up for summer. I would shorten this though. Um, my hips tend not to like anything that goes over it quite like that. So I would shorten it to probably around there. But I really do think that this top has a lot of options. Um, so let's talk sizing. This pattern itself runs from a size 6 to 24 and that accommodates a bust of 30 and a half inches all the way up to 46 and then hip from 32 and a half inches to 48 inches so again um you know these simplicity patterns aren't the most size inclusive honestly i don't know why they just don't make all of their patterns in the larger size range it doesn't make sense not to so i'm actually really looking forward to making this this one I picked up from Offset's Treasures. And actually, so for those of you who haven't bought from Offset's Treasures, um, it's an Etsy shop that I like to frequent. Um, whenever you purchase from her, she always throws in an extra pattern for you, which I think is really awesome. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this was the extra pattern that she had given me, which I think is so cute. There's this faux neck wrap, right? Like this wrap across the top, but it also has that square neckline. And then this has some pleating around here. So it has some really cute details. And then look at the sleeves. I, I don't know what this sleeve is called, but I really do like it. I probably wouldn't wear it with this little tie there, but I do, I do, <laughs> I do really love this. This pattern is Butterick 5084. And this one runs from a size 6 to 20. So that's a bust of 30 and a half to 42 inches. And then hips of 32 and a half to 44. This top is meant to be used with stretch knits. And then there's also this one. Now, let me tell you, I was actually on the fence about whether or not I wanted to pick this pattern up. This is Simplicity 9224, and it's another Mimi G pattern. Um, this is a wrap dress. It has a tie along the side there. It has an asymmetric hemline here, which I think is really cute. And then it looks like it has some grown on sleeves. This little area right here can be a contrasting little piece of panel. You can see here, that's view B. Um, it looks like a cute, really easy to wear dress, which is what really like attracts me to this pattern. But 
the reason why I was on the fence about picking this one up was because I've seen people make this. Somebody made this dress and this flap just kind of like, it didn't lay quite right on the bust which is a little concerning to me because I have large busts and if there's anything that's like laying a little awkwardly, it's gonna be really noticeable, especially with any kind of little gust of wind. That That's just the truth. So that's really what kind of had me on the fence about this. But quite honestly, I didn't pay more than $1.99 for this pattern. So I thought, why not grab it? She recommends that you use linen, soft cottons, chambray, silky types, batiks. Um, and the size range on this is the same simplicity, six to 24. Simplicity, 92, 31. So this pattern is actually, I'm, I'm not quite certain why I picked this up because I tend not to like, um, things that are up on my neck, um, wovens, especially like non-stretch wovens. And that's what this one does. It has a lot of really cute pleating right up here that opens up into those soft folds. Um, you have the two different sleeve options, kind of like that straight sleeve, and then a little bit of a gathered one into a smaller cuff area. And then of course, there's a short sleeve version here. I just thought that this would be nice for work. This would be a nice alternative for work. That's not really basic. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like that neckline on me. I like it on her, but you know, we'll just have to wait to see. Maybe if I made this in something that was a bit sheer and wore like a little tank or cami under it, I might, yeah, I, I think that might work. Like a really cute embroidered sheer something, right? Yeah. Size range on this is six to 24. And then the fabrics that they recommend for this one are Chalet, Charmeuse, Cotton Lawn, Crepe de Chine, Double Georgette, Lightweight Linens. I mean, basically anything that like when you pick it up, it has a nice pretty drape thing going for it. Um, it'll really make this stand out. I also got this pattern. I'm not sure where I got this McCall 7531 pattern from. It's basically um, one of your t-shirt dresses. You use your stretchy knits for this one. It comes in a size range from extra small to double XL. It has a round neckline, a bit of a higher neckline. You can see that here. And then it has a different sleeve options. I mean, t I, look, honestly, I feel like t-shirt dresses nowadays are a dime a dozen. This one does have a back seam. So you see here, this back seam will, can allow you to get a better fit there. Um, I tend to have to make a, um, oh gosh, what's it called? I have to always take out <laughs> fabric by the small of my back, um, just because I tend to get a lot of pulling there because of the size difference from my waist to my hips. Sway back adjustment, that's what it's called. It's called a sway back adjustment. Um, so yeah, so that would make it easier to get that fitting really good. And then this one also has a um, slit up the back. This is designed for learners in mine. So if you're learning to sew knits, this would be probably a really good one. It also has that ruler on the back. So you stretch it from there to there. And this one, and we've already gone over the sizing. So I'm happy to add this to my t-shirt dress collection. So this is another one from Outside's Treasures. This is Butterick 5714, and this one runs from an extra small to an XXL too. Um, what I really liked about this one is this version right here. Now, you all, I am not really a cardigan person. I would never consider myself a cardigan person, but I feel like if I had this in my closet, yeah, I'd walk around feeling fabulous in that all day long. So this view right here is what really got me. This belt right here actually isn't attached. I think I'm going to go ahead and just attach it into the side seams or something like that because I'm sick and tired of losing my little fabric belts or finding them at the bottom of my closet. It's really annoying. So I think I'm just going to attach it when I do make this one up. So this one runs from a bust size of 29 and a half up to 48. 
Hmm. And then a hip of 31 and a half to 50. So this Butterick pattern range has a bit of a larger range than some of the other ones that I have. I still wouldn't call it inclusive though. Okay, so you all just bear with me because these next, I don't know however many patterns were actually given to me by my mother-in-law. Now, backstory on these. So my <laughs> mother-in-law is a quilter and some of her friends actually decided to surprise her with some sewing patterns and <laughs> they surprised her with all of these outlander ones <laughs> aren't they the funniest well she actually did end up hanging on to them for me because she knew that i might actually like these and you know what she's not wrong i do i like them so we have this one. This is McCall's 7764, and this runs from a size 6 to 22. This pattern in particular is too small for me. It's a 6 to 14, but I really do like this. It has that full skirt option right there. It has an over skirt. I, look, these aren't technical terms because I, I, don't, I don't know what these things are called, but it has that like little overlay skirt there, and then the top options. This bag has a corseted back. Um, I like the little puffy sleeves. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I really like it. I don't, I don't know where I'd wear it to or anything like that, but I really, <laughs> I think it's really cute. And then there's this one. This is Nicole 7736. And this is a men's pattern, of course, with a kilt right here, a little like over overcoat and a vest. And let me just show you right back here. You can see the vest has um, like some kind of like tie detail down the back. Let me see how close I can get that for you. Ah, that's as good as it's gonna get. Basically, there's a looks like there's a bunch of eyelets in the back and you just kind of like lace it up to tighten it up in the back. It has buttons down the front. Um, <laughs> the vest has it looks like the vest has welt pockets in it. I'm not sure if they're actually functional. I actually know a friend who wants to make a kilt, so this might go to him. I think this jacket is actually a really cool one too. Um, there is no collar on it. Do you see that? No collar on this one. This is McCall 7762. It does have a button closure down the front, and then it also looks like a bit of a double breasted in the back it looks like it has plenty of space for walking so no issues there this one looks like a cute one they recommend wool fabrics for this one wool blends garbadine linen linen though really i mean that just sounds like a weird option for something like this what else if anyone makes it in linen i really do want to see that one and then there's me call 78 24. Um, this is another jacket, and actually, I like this one a lot more. This one, it just seems to have, look at those details, how like that fabric kind of folds over and connects into the side there. This is really nice. It does have a collared option. You can see here, this is the collar. He has a vest under it. Um, I think this is a good one. Uh, this is a lined jacket, and it has decorative buttons and trims, so no front closures. All of those buttons and trims are fake. <laughs> it's, it's, this brings me so much joy. Um, the pattern sizing on this one runs from a men's size of 38 to 52. Chest size-wise, that's 38 inches all the way up to 52 inches, so I guess that's how it all coordinates. And then um, waist 32 to 48. And so that's that men's one. And then I have one last outlander for you. And this is McCall 7916. This one, honestly, this one looks like it has the same exact skirt from the other one. It's that really big full one. And I like that. I could see this with a wider waistband. And in Ankara, and I think that would just be so freaking amazing. This isn't in my size though, but I, I do think it's really cute. And quite honestly, this I'm sure has so much ease that I could make it work. 
This top though is really interesting. It looks like it is just like kind of sewn up. So there's no buttons like in the front there. I'm not sure how this goes on. Maybe a zipper in the back? Doo, 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 doo. Hook and eyes. This has hook and eyes. I'm not sure where that would be. Maybe in the back here, but I can't tell where it would actually be according to this. And there's like all these like little lacy details and stuff. Okay, so that's the Outlander out the way. Let's talk about my last three patterns here. <laughs> so this is Simplicity 9223. What I really like about this is all of the waistline pleating on the one side. And then it looks like they just kind of like released down here. It's, I felt like it was a nice little detail. And so this is something that I would actually make and wear to work. And it does look really comfortable. The sizes on this runs from 6 to 24, um, which accommodates up to a 46-inch bust and a 48-inch hip. And they recommend chambray, cotton sateen, cotton types, garbadine jacquards, lightweight denims, things like that. And... I, just, I really think that this and a chambray would be really special. This pattern I actually picked up just in case my husband would actually like me to make him a suit one day, which probably won't be ever, but I, I got this pattern with him in mind. This is Simplicity 9241 and it's a pan and jacket suit. I just felt like this is a pretty classic look. Honestly, I feel like this could be a real standout in some beautiful fabric. The sizing for this pattern goes from 34 to 52, which accommodates a chest size of 34 inches all the way up to 52 inches, waist of 28 to 48, and then hips of 35 to 53. This pattern itself is in my husband's size range. So I don't know, maybe maybe he'll let me make it for him one day. And then I picked this up for my goddaughter, um, who's just the sweetest. So this is Simplicity 9244, and it's a blouse and a little dress set. I really love all of the ruffling around here and the sleeves here. I just thought that this was really precious. And then how about this for like a more simple look? Ah. You are, uh, I, I need it. I, I really need to get busy and start sewing for that little munchkin because I have so much fabric in my stash set aside for her. And, and, and she just needs to be wearing it all. She does. Um, this pattern runs from a size one half to four, which accommodates chest size of 19 to 23 and waist of 19 to 21. It, it's just a cutesy one, isn't it? I think so. You all, so those are all of the patterns that I recently picked up. <laughs> and I mean, honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna put them because I've run out of space. I've ordered more comic book boxes, binders, and all kinds of stuff so I can get through this, but woo wee, I've got a lot of patterns. And if you're curious about just how many patterns I have, you might want to check out this video right over here, which shows you my last huge pattern haul. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with me. And don't forget to leave your comments for the giveaway below. And you all, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.